GAN 13, new package. All right, it's time. This is the day. Okay, let's do this. All right, so. Oh wait, it doesn't open that like that. I forgot about that. Um, oh, oh, that's nice. Does, are these magnetic too? Can you like, no, these can open up too. So, the box actually, let me get these things off. Oh, that's it. I, I love the credit cards, but more, not credit cards, but more like cards. But the box actually shows the interior of the cube. I don't know if I'm meant to say interior for a Rubik's cube. I think that's just cards. I think that's a really cool box. So, that's obviously probably an edge piece or a scent cap. That's obviously the core, and you can see the maglev in it. Well, there is a maglev. Uh, you can see the first layer, you can see all the edge pieces on the corner pieces, and you obviously can see the last layer. That's a really cool box. Okay, get the box out of the way. And I'm going to watch you guys, but I'm turning it into a yet. So let's look at what accessories we have. How do we open this? Which way do I open? <laughs> that is. Alright. We have a very. So, most people only have the light blue ones. But since I've only started cubing, like a couple. Like, like around three months ago. I mean, you know, I've. I've been interested in cubing, but I only have started speed cubing like three months ago. But most people have the light blue bag, but I only have the dark blue ones because the only cubes I have the GAN 256 and the GAN 11 Pro. So then we have same pamphlet they've been giving for a long time, I believe, like six years or something. And we have the cube station thing. I've never scanned this QR code because I've heard cube station takes hours to work. What's this? I haven't seen this in any of them. I haven't seen this in my 11 one. Is that meant to? What is this? Oh, is this how to set up your cube? Yeah, this is how to like send to travel and stuff. Okay. Now we can get onto the cube. Takes a long time for paper. So that's the card. And you have Gans Instagram and Gans. That what's that? I don't know. Okay, that's pretty cool. And we have the cube. Moment of truth. Ooh! Look. That looks different to the 11. It's more frost. I think I got the frosted one. Did I? It feels like it looks a lot more like it looks different to the 11. Like a lot different to the 11. And then if I'm correct, yeah, the adjustment tool is not here. So let's see what we have. Actually, I'm going to need that paper back. Okay, so let's see. What adjustments we can do to the cube? Okay, so let's see magnet strength. Uh, where's magnet strength? There it is. So let's read this magnet adjustment. Turn, I can't read that. Magnet adjustment. Turn the outer layer 45 degrees to expose the magnet slots on the corner pieces. Use the adjusting tool to toggle the leather and the, uh, to the desired setting. Okay, so... Um, let me see. What the? <laughs> that was awkward. Okay, that's not going to make a great video. But um, it's funny, so I'll leave it in. Okay, so... What is it on now? What does that say? That's on... That's on three. 
So that's the normally I have cubes, that's the highest setting, I believe. I'm a tornado, I think that's the highest setting. Let's see, so let's see whether we can set that to. It's on three now. That's two. So what's that now? That's three. So can you turn it clockwise to go up magnet strength? And you turn it anti-clockwise to turn it down magnet strength. I don't know who was put it down magnet strength because it's a real fast cube. So well, I believe it's a fast cube. I haven't even tried yet, so I believe it's a fast cube, so I think it's gonna be no one's probably gonna put this to like two or something or one. If you put it to one, you're probably a maniac. <laughs> okay, let's see how the well this thing turns. Oh! 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 That's so different to any other key. I know I'm comparing this a lot to the 11, because I don't have the 12, but the 11 was a lot. It was fast. Like, I remember the 11 being super duper fast. But the 11 had really bad corner cutting. And I I can't even almost do corner cutting because of the diamonds. Well, okay. Look. I can't do this because the diamonds were reverse corner cutting. Oh. Reverse corner cutting is normally hard for cubes. Let's try corner. Oh, the 11 had real problems with corn cutting. But this is super nice. Oh, that, that magnet. Let's try a J perm. Holy, that's nice. The magnets are so nice. Okay, new main cube for sure. I used to make the Tornado V3, but this is a lot. Written a lot nicer than Tornado. Oh, you done. This is so nice. Okay. That's it in the box. So, I've shown you the cube. This is an amazing cube. It's very expensive. So I think it's $84. But the fast is 76, I think. 78. And it's all 79. If you ha if you want to. Well, not if you want to, honestly. You just should. If you haven't. If you want. Like. So, you should buy the cube. If you are willing to spend a lot of money on a cube. But if you don't want to spend that much money, don't buy it. But this is an amazing cube. I think you honestly should buy it. Oh, it's so good. Alright. See you in the next video. Bye, guys.